another video. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button right down below. And don't forget to hit that post notification bell so you know when your girl is uploading like, duh, I'm finally back on here, y'all. Like, I'm excited to be back. I'm gonna be more consistent. I know I say that a lot, but I really, really, really mean that because now I have the time to be consistent. So yeah, get ready with me, y'all, <laughs> for the Queens of R&B concert with Pattern Beauty. God, I can't even like fathom right now. I can't even believe this. I am like so shocked, so blessed, like so excited, just so everything. Um, yeah, I got like an email about a week or two ago from someone from Pattern Beauty inviting me to the Queens of R&B concert that's tonight. And I just can't believe it. Like I've never been invited to a concert or like a brand trip with a brand. So this is honestly like a dream come true for real. So yeah, need to start getting ready. This is how I'm wearing my hair for the event. I have to fix this band too, not like it's not giving what I needed to give. It's not matching. Um, but, but yes, I'm so like, I'm so excited. Like, this is going to be so much fun. The crazy thing is like, I really wanted to go to this concert with my mom, like when they first announced it, because a lot of the groups, it's like Escape, SWV, 702, Maya, Total, you know, the Queens, the, the woman that was held, holding it down in the nineties. Okay. And I really wanted to go to the tour of my mom, to the show of my mom, I should say. But instead we bought tickets because my cousin is dancing for Missy Elliott. So we bought tickets for that. And then it's kind of a good thing we wound up didn't buy tickets for this because we did have death in the family and my mom had to go back home. So you see, dreams do come true because God said, girl, you are still going. Like I, y'all, when I say I cannot believe this, like, I really mean it. So the theme is like we have to come with like 90s-esque hair. Um, I wanted to do like this whole like size suit because clearly I have braids. I have um, boho knotless braids and I just wasn't going to like take my hair out and have time to like get it redone or get it done, period. Uh, yeah, I... um. I honestly am still kind of in shock. I feel like this kind of feels like, I don't know. I don't really know how to feel. Like I'm super excited. I, you know, at first when I got this email, I honestly thought I was being like scammed. Like I'm not gonna hold you. Had to do my research because I've never worked with Pattern Beauty before. So I just was like, wow, like you guys really found little old me, you know? But God said, girl, this is not a joke. And it's crazy because honestly, and now I'm going to have to get like really real with you guys really quick. Um, I got laid off last month from my job. And it's crazy because I was working at a retail store. I started as one position, got promoted over time. And honestly, that was like one of the first retail jobs I've ever had that I genuinely loved the job. Like I really loved it. I can honestly say I gave it my all and it was kind of out of nowhere, not kind of, it was really out of nowhere. It was like really unexpected. And like, I was sad when I found out that I got laid off, but at the same time, I was relaxed. And if you know me, you know, I, I tend to stress, I tend to overthink, like, that's just something that I have been working on. But this is the first time that like something like that has happened. And I was just calm. Like, I wasn't like, of course, I had my moment where, you know, anger and stuff like that. But my heart was just calm. My mind was calm. And honestly, I was just like... I think this is God. This is God telling me, you know, you never had, besides COVID, and even in COVID, I wasn't really taking content creating, like, I was taking it serious, but 
also there was nothing else to do during COVID. But I never had a moment to really just stop and take my content creation like stuff really serious for real. And I think that this was a moment where God was like, this is your time to focus on content creating and dancing. Um, because when I get a job, I am like 100% down for that job. Like nothing else. What is this? Yeah, when I have a job, I am one of those people that can that's like fully committed. I am all in like I'm just like you know, 10 toes down when I have like a job, honestly, like I'm just like very, very dedicated. Um, even though like I know that like that is something that's like temporary, like that wasn't really like my calling for real. Um, so I think, not I think, I know ever since I've gotten laid off, just the blessings have been like rolling in like i'm back on the pr list for fenty i mean not fenty, um savage x fenty and i'm like that's exciting like that's stuff that like i really want to do i you know it just makes me feel like i'm moving in the right direction and this invite just really like solidified it for me like it just made me say believe in yourself more because you know when you do no matter what you do you always have doubts i'm my biggest critic i'm super hard on myself like super super hard on myself about every single thing and this was like my confirmation to be like you know what let go and let god because when you leave things in god's hand you see the blessings coming your way you know and I feel like, you know, God blocks a lot of things, even though you might want them in the moment. He blocks it because you're not ready for it. And I feel like now I'm starting to get all of these blessings coming my way because I am now actually ready for it. So I am so excited. This is honestly, thank you so much to everyone that follows me on any of my social media platforms if you follow me on all go off like you're a real one but none of this would be happening without y'all for real like i'm i'm really thankful for my supporters my family my friends this is just like an amazing opportunity for me um but yeah, I'm just I'm just super excited to see like to meet the other influencers that got invited to this and to just ex like go to this concert. Like this is like a great way to end the summer, you know? So, Hair's Giving 90s. So I felt like if Hair's Giving 90s, I feel like everything else kind of got to give 90s. So I'm trying to go for the like, you know, super skinny super skinny eyebrows cuz that was a thing in the 90s outfit is 90s inspired i wouldn't say like it's full-fledged 90s i do have the bamboo earrings because like what i'm from new york of course i'm gonna have the bamboos like duh and i am wearing steve madden platform sandals because at first i was gonna do a heel because the outfit that i have is actually from pretty little thing and well the outfit that i'm wearing is from pretty little thing and um, on their website, they styled it with a pair of like kitten heel, slip on kitten heels that I actually have. They're not from Pretty Little Thing, they're from a different brand. Um, but I was like, oh, do I really want to wear a heel for real? Like, I actually want to be comfortable and be able to enjoy. Also, like, I don't know how far we have to walk because we are also in a suite. So I know suites only have a certain number of seats in them. So I don't really know. Like I just didn't, I just want to be comfortable, you know? Like I don't want to have to, I don't want to have to be uncomfortable. So I actually wore those sandals. I've actually had them for like over a year. And um, I wore them the other day and then I was like, oh crap, these are actually comfy. So I'm probably just gonna wear these with my outfit and I'm like Steve Madden platforms 
was a big thing in the 90s. So I'm like, let me, you know, let me wear those. It's crazy because I'm a 90s baby, but like my time in the 90s, I was clearly a child. So, um, but yeah, 90s is actually, 90s and early 2000s are my favorite like time period fashion wise music wise if you know me i am always playing early 2000s 90s r&b pop songs like that's just like my thing i always say i wish i was this the age that i am now back then like when those songs came out because i feel like okay and this is really a thing Growing up and watching music videos or like movies and they had club scenes, the clubs was jumping. Everybody on the dance floor was dancing like they was getting it in. And my mom said back in the day, they used to come out the club, hair sweated out, clothes all sweaty. Like that's what I thought the clubs was going to be. I couldn't wait to turn 21 and to really, you know, post up in the club. Child, clubs now and especially in L.A., it's especially in LA they're trash like I'm so sorry I'm so sorry I had my fair share of times where I went out every single weekend but now when I look back and I really think of it I'm like yo this is really corny like everybody just standing up here just trying to act like there's somebody they're not nobody really wants to dance for real it's just a whole bunch of wannabes like I, I, I'm so sorry and I hate to I really hate to say that but it's just a whole bunch of nothing like I feel like social media everybody is just trying to like play a role you know everybody's trying to act like something and I'm like bro I could do this at home I got a Bartesian okay I can make this same drink for free I mean granted when I go out the drinks are free anyway but that's neither here or there I can make these same drinks at home listen to music and get down in the comfort of my own home and not have to spend money on uber not have to put on makeup not have to put on an outfit you know so i always say like i wish that i was in my 20s like in the late 90s early 2000s like i would have been thriving at that time okay and the natural beauty like oh that was just a time there was no bbls like everybody was just naturally beautiful like the standard of beauty back then should be the same standard now like oh i'm so tired of seeing everybody with a bbl child i don't know again i feel like i haven't really explored nightlife everywhere i've explored nightlife in vegas which i totally love like vague i feel like when you go to vegas it's you just have to you just have to turn up you have to get crazy you have to get wild it's vegas you don't know those people out there you probably will never see those people again and like that's unless you live out there honestly but if you're out there visiting like you're supposed to turn up you're supposed to get crazy and i feel like i always have a great time in vegas like i always have a great time but yeah i haven't really experienced like club life anywhere else besides la and vegas because cruise ships don't count child that don't that don't count so maybe i could be wrong comment down below if i'm wrong drop your city tell me if your city is really popping like the club life is really popping like people are really giving early 2000s vibes because if so then i might have to pop up in your city because that's what i'm trying to experience that i want to experience early 2000s club life at least once before i settle down child just once that's all i'm asking just once and maybe i just need to throw an early 2000s birthday party oh for my 30th birthday that should i should do that an early 2000s themed birthday party that would be lit that would eat because but i need everybody to like come fit it for real like not no fake and that's the only thing like when I do when I want to have a theme birthday party or party in general like I need people to come in the dress code because I always follow dress code when I go to like other people's things and I need them to follow mine when they come to mine so I might do that that might sound that kind of sounds like the move for my 30th birthday but I'm also like in this like 
travel bag right now like i want to just be in a different country for every birthday here on out i mean granted when i have kids and stuff like that that's a little slow but that's literally like what i really want to do like i want to be in a different country for each birthday um i'm talking all over the place but but yeah so i'm kind of happy that i get to live my 90s fantasy you know because i like i really really wish i was in my prime back then not in a baby stroller like granted that was also the life you know being in a baby stroller that was the life not have to worry about bills or anything that that really was a life I feel like now being an adult when you I mean granted I never like I never wanted to, I never tried to like grow up fast but when you hear adults say like stay in a child's place or like don't don't try to grow up too fast no for real <laughs> because adulthood is the ghettoest hood I've ever been to okay granted I have not been to a lot of hoods but this is a ghetto one i this is i i have to admit adulthood is just very ghetto but but yeah i'm super excited i'm also like i'm still just kind of like in disbelief like every time i get an email from them i'm like this is like really happening like, i just feel like every time like are you sure me little old me you know I keep getting that that vibe and I guess people are probably like too like you know you're in the industry like this should be normal ah, ah, ah. and it's just like I feel like it never gets normal no matter how many jobs you book I feel like it never feels like this is your life like at least once you always have that one moment during every job where you're just like wow this is really my life at least I do I definitely be having those moments especially now that i have a car like like okay when i filmed um bob hart's bob hart's abby shola i used to sit in my car on that lot like i cannot believe that i am at the warner brother lot like where a lot of my favorite tv shows were filmed at like i am really here living the life in la working like this is like this is my dreams are actually coming true, you know, and I feel the same with like con like the content creating. Like, this is really like my dream come true. Like, I used to watch these vlogs of all these other like influencers and content creators get invited to things, and be like, one day that's gonna be me. And like, God said, your one day is now. So, I'm just very thankful. Can't cry because. Clearly, I'm doing my makeup, but I'm just like, this is just, yeah, this is like a serious dream come true. Like, and I know that some people, this might not be a big deal, whatever. Like, oh, you're just going to a concert. Yep. Yeah, well, I'm going with a major brand, <laughs> you know, like a major brand whose products I actually use, which is crazy. Like I actually use pattern. I actually literally just bought my mom like just took my mom into buying like like four different products from them because she's never used pattern and she was looking for like a new like conditioner and shampoo to use and i was just telling her because my mom has like really curly hair and i was like this you should definitely use try out pattern and see if you like it because i actually really do love their stuff I feel like one of my favorite products from them is their um, the pre poo that they have. That's good for like when you take your hair out of protective styles, which I normally wear my hair in like weaves or braids, and it just gives your curls the extra oomph that they need to come back. Like I just I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Plus I love Tracy Ellis Ross. Like I'm so excited, y'all. Like I just can't stop saying how excited I am because I'm really am excited um, I'm gonna do so I need to make sure I have like extra extra blush on okay y'all so I did not realize the time 
I gotta start ordering my Uber to get up out of here. But this is my fit. My hair is done. I'm gonna fix my hair in the car. Um, but yeah, wish me luck, guys. <laughs> Can't believe this. I'm like trying to grease myself real fast so I can order this Uber. But yes. Love you guys so much. Thank you for watching my chit chat. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.